April again that today's tutorial is about a red purse um, it's a crochet one um, please um, just bear in me this is gonna be a long video for this one um, I might miss a little bit of details of it um, so you just let me know in the comments below and I will respond to it and I will show you how to do it as soon as I can So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make the magic ring so you have two choices for making the first um, round you can make six chain like this one so I'm gonna show you the first one so we're just gonna make the slip stitch So you'll just make six chain like this, two, three, four, five, six, and you'll join them together for the first chain that you make. So you have your ring or you can make the magic ring. So the disadvantage on the six chain that you make is you're not going to achieve the tight center like this one because if you have the six chain it's fixed you have a circle uh, a little big hole in front uh, at the center of the hexagon that you're making but if you have your magic chain you can make it tight like that so the first thing so I recommend I'm making the magic ring and the first thing you're gonna do to make that is face your palm on you like this and this is about the same length it's up to you you can make it longer and wrap around on your two fingers like this and then cross it like that and put your um, crochet hook underneath the first one and grab this is the long end here so grab the long end one here and make your single crochet and 
there you go and you're just gonna make two more to make a double crochet so you have three chain for the first double crochet so consider this a uh, first double crochet and another one so you're gonna have six pair of two double crochet together so you have two double crochet here now so you make chain one chain one space and double crochet again and double crochet and chain one again and see this is the magic ring here you just grab the end one here and like that so it will tighten it like that and we need chain one again at the very end and we will join them on the very last end so about this one here the join here i will show you later how did i join this one here so it's already joined so i'll just continue and you so you there's one way of joining them so i'm using a black yarn so it's really it's up to you so this one is easier one to join it but usually you should join it at the third chain that you make at the very beginning so i'll just join it like this and I'm gonna go to the second double crochet because we need the pairs together so pair 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 and this one is a pair so I'll just go to the first chain one that I made and then you're gonna make five chain one two three four five and two double crochet at the same chain space and then so basically here this is a double crochet and a chain two so you just because you make it at the very first one you make it five chain so after that you make chain one and two double crochet on the next chain one plus chain two and two double crochet at the same chain the same chain one that you make and chain one again and one two double crochet plus chain two and two double crochet there so we have five chain the very first one that they will make so this one is considered one double crochet and a chain two so we're gonna make we're gonna make one more double crochet here and we will just join it on the third chain that we make And now it's joined so we're gonna make three chain one two three and six double crochet four five so the reason we only make six double crochet for this is because we already have our first double crochet which is the chain, uh, chain three and then you will chain one and then now you're gonna make seven double crochet seven double crochet on the two chain space that you made the previous round one A three chain four five six 
six six seven. So remember you should have seven double crochet on each two chain space that you made on the previous round. So now we're in the last one, so we're gonna chain one and we will join them on the last or on the third chain or here on this. So the really nice way of doing that is you should you should join it on the third chain of this three chain that you make the very first round. So anyway, I'll just join it like that and we will change color after this. So we're going to use the black yarn round. And there's no way of joining that. So I'll show you the first one. You just hold the yarn, the new yarn. We'll cut this later. So you just put it like that. You grab the yarn. And there. You have now your new yarn. And you just chain like that. And then what you do is you just wave them. But I don't like doing that. It's more work for me. So what I do is I cut this red one here like that. And I'm going to join it with a I don't know how it's called, but it's strong way of joining the yarn. And safely strong and let's work. So you hold the yarn like that. So make sure you have allowance. And you just wrap it on your thumb like that. And put this yarn behind these two yarns here. And put it in front of two yarns. So it's gonna shape like that. And then you put these two yarns in front like that, but then you're holding your thumb like that, okay? So I'll just make it again to show you. So you put around, you, you wrap around the yarn, black yarn here, and then behind this two yarn, and then in front of the two yarns there, and then flip this two yarn there in front of it so I'll show you I did show you how it looks like and then you loosen this one here because you're gonna tighten it and you will tighten it like that so this is how it's gonna look okay and you're just gonna join it like that and we're gonna make single crochet seven single crochet on each of this okay and I will show you so this one is one two three four five so we only have six on this very first one because the first one is the red one here which it doesn't matter and then um, single crochet but then put it here okay um, you just put it like that because if you put it in here it's not gonna look good as a flowery thing like this so you have a long single crochet here to emphasize the red one so if you put it in here the hole here it's not gonna look good see so you put it in the second hole here and like that. you have a long single crochet and you're gonna make seven one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, and a long single crochet again here. And I'll meet you there. I'm now in the last part. So I'm almost ready for joining. So this is the last part here. So as you can see here, it's almost not visible. But you have to see here. You have to have a um, long single crochet before you join them. Okay. Like that. And join them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four. So I will put them on the just make sure um just count the red one. Doesn't matter. As long as you have seven. So on the fourth one here, so we have one, two, three single crochet, and you will have three single crochet on the same stitch on the fourth one. So we have the same one. One, two, three. And you'll have, you will do single crochet again here. One, two, three. So remember the long single crochet that you made on the previous round? You will skip that chain there. So you will skip that chain. So you go here. So you have one, two, three single crochet and you will make three single crochet on this stitch alone so that is to emphasize the corner of the hexagon that's why you're making this three stitch on the center so you have seven right so you have three single crochet on that um three three at the center of it is you you might you have to make three in in the same stitch so you have one two three so you have your corner there now and you're making one two three again and you will skip again the long the long single crochet that you made okay and we'll meet you there this is the last round of our hexagon and we are almost done two three to make our corner and one two and we will skip again the long stitch that we have and this is now for joining so we're almost done and we're gonna cut it and there we have our hexagon and now we're just gonna wave so so you see this hole here you just tighten this up here so so unlike the chain if you're just if you just make chain um you're gonna have you're gonna have big hole there which you can tighten up so now we're just gonna wave our hexagon so now that it's tightened we're just gonna wave it and now we have our hexagon so you just straighten it like that now we are gonna make this square one 
so you just same as the hexagon you just hold and make your magic ring which I already explained on the first round so for this square one is um, it's kind of the same but just a less stitches so same you make three stitch one two That's our first double crochet and so you have one, two, two pair now and And then five chain again so the only difference here is you only make four pairs of two double crochet on hexagon you need six so one two so same again three four five So two double crochet and the chain one again that you make and two chains and two double crochet. And we're gonna make one, two, three to consider this as a double crochet and six double crochet again one two three four five six so just remember Seven. Chain We're one. gonna make seven single crochet on top of the seven double uh single double crochet that you made. One, two. Second double crochet, third double crochet. Just remember to count seven before you start your first single crochet. And on the fourth one, you're gonna make three of them for the corner. This is to emphasize the corner of the square. That's the purpose of making the three single crochet in one chains in one single crochet that you made. So you just make the same all around. And just remember to always skip this long stitch here. And 
and you just make it like that and wave them afterwards. And now that we have our hexagon and squares um, together, we're gonna stitch them together. So I put these pins here to identify which is front and back. Because sometimes when I'm making them, I'm kind of flipping, flipping. So for me to be able to identify which is the front and back, I'll just put the pins in there. So it makes my work faster. So I'll just do After I stitch them, I just put them back like this one. And then I'll mark which um, sides I'm going to join. So this one, this one is stitches already. So I stitch them here. And then I'll just put this back as it is. Just make sure that you put them back the right way. The right shape like that. So it's like, so, so that you'll know which part you're going to join. So my hook is here. So I'm going to join this way here. So I'm going to join them with, I'll just flip it like that. And then I join them with single crochet. And after I'll just put it back again. And then I'll decide which part I'm going to join again. So I'm working on onliners like right now. So what you're gonna do is you just um, lay this like this. So just put the fabric behind it and then cut it like that. And then you just like what here, like what I have here. Um, I have excess fabric for allowances. You can just fold it or cut them just to form like this. So anyway. I'm here on the liner so I'm not gonna close it yet because I'm gonna put the handle here so after I put the handle I'm gonna close the liner anyway this is my um, my division here so I'm gonna put zipper here but I'll show you later and this is my pocket so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this first so this one is not closest, I just pin them there so that it stays in place. And I'll just sew this here first without attaching it so that you can open it and then here. So I will show you guys. And this one here I'm gonna put zipper. So this is gonna be my division here. And I will be back. So um, I'm done sewing the pockets. So you're probably wondering why I have the stitches here, the white ones. Um, those are just um, to use it as a pin. So you can use pins for doing this. Now I'm just cutting them. So there's the pocket here now. And there's the liner. So there's the purse and uh, it's not sealed yet so I will seal it after um, I put my what do you call that bag handle and I will be back so zipper is attached and if you are having a difficulty running it on your machine because your machine is that big or not um, designed for uh, uh, making purses um, you can do the stitches by your hand like this one so you can stitch it like that and it just look fine so I just make it as neat as possible Or um, you do you put the zipper and you you do this um, division first and do the zipper before you attach them on the purse like this okay 
And now I will be show you, showing you how to make the handle. Handle is like this. And it is 50 centimeter. So the first thing you are gonna do is make a slip stitch or you can just tie a knot here like that. So you can just do this. Tie a knot like that. So you have your first stitch or you can do your slip stitch, slip knot. So what you do is you just do this and there, get your slip, slip knot. And you will do 10. So you have one, two, Ten. Ten chain. And then you will connect it to to the back here. And one. So you go through all the way um using the back loop on your stitch. And now you are at the last part so what you do you see this two bulk here and there's a hole in here so what you do is you just grab the stitch below that hole there and you see this bulk again and there's hole again in there at the center you just grab the stitch at the center there and then I will show you once more so you see the shape of it and um, between this hole here there's a stitch behind it like there that's where you put your needle so it looks the same the hole through here so every in between this you put your stitches so like there there's space and there the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna seal this one by attaching them together with a needle I'll just attach the D-ring um, by putting the needle on the center. So I like it at the center first to hold them together. So I have a um, small allowance here that I will do later to seal it. And there's our first stitch. You can um, attach it whenever you want, however you want it. But um, this is um, how I do it and I'll, I'm just showing you how. So for doing this, this is um, looking neat, like this one. It's neat and...
I am gonna attach the handle now and um so just make sure when you attach the handle the liner is not yet um attached so like that but then this is the back so this is the front i'm gonna touch it right where the black center is like that and now i'm done stitching with the um, I'm done running it with the machine. So when joining the sides, um, use needle. Before you sealed off the um, division of the purse, um, you should cut first um, four inches by four and a half um, inches of um, clothing fabric for your liner. And um, you should attach it to the sides of the purse like this one, like that. And um, you should do it before you attach the division permanently. So on on this side here, all I'm doing right now is um, what do you call that? Um, hand sewing, because I cannot put them in my machine like this one. See how complicated it is. So for the machine, I think um, you can use other type of machine. All right, so it's done by the machine. So I will be suggesting to do the hand stitch first before you What I did here is um, I just stitched them, but it's not finalized. I just, um, to acquire this shape here that I did, you know, putting it together, I need to, like, re redo everything, re like, re-stitch something. So what you do is you, you just hand-stitch it with a um, thread and a needle, and now I'm going to finalize it by doing the same thing with the hand stitch because I can't stitch this with the machine so we're almost done 